So in the previous video, we had discussed that before you can install Linux or select a particular distribution, you should find out the information about your hardware. Once you have the information about your hardware, you can decide to select a particular distribution as per your requirement. Now, let's say if you are having an older hardware or something, there are n number of Linux distributions which are still developed today for that they can work on the older hardware also. Few of the cases in are like you have X Ubuntu, which is based on Ubuntu. Then uh, there is a similar one, which is L Ubuntu, again, based on Ubuntu. This, these are designed to work on a bit older hardware. Like you have a one gigahertz processor or two GB RAM or something like that. You can work with these things. So based on your existing hardware, you can search for a compatible distribution. Things like uh, distributions like Ubuntu, Debian or Fedora, these are generally suitable for any desktop work that uh, you are doing. And you can select these particular distributions. Now, when you select a particular distribution, make sure to check out their hardware requirements and whether they fall into the criteria of your existing hardware or not. Now, this is the first thing that you have uh, existing hardware and you are selecting a distribution based on the existing hardware so that you have a compatible Linux system and it works uh, fine on your existing system. The second criteria could be that uh, you are planning to set up some office or uh, you are planning to buy new hardware for a particular requirement. Let us say you are going to set up an office or something where you are planning to do some web development work or you plan to do web hosting based things and other things. So you will be buying new hardware. In this particular scenario, you should first of all consider what would be the requirements for your purpose. Like if you are going to set it up as a web server, what would be the requirement for the web server and you'll buying some server grade hardware or good hardware. The thing that you need to consider is to make sure that the new hardware that you are going to buy is going to work with the Linux system. It should not happen that you go out, you buy some hardware and you find that it does not work with Linux. So before you go ahead and get some hardware, make sure that uh, it is going to be compatible with your system. Do some research on the net and try to find out like uh, you can go to simply go to Wikipedia and have a look at different uh, Linux distributions that are there fine uh, on Wikipedia or even a generic search would tell you many details about the different kind of Linux distributions. So like you could go in for Red Hat based distributions or Debian based distributions and which are suitable for your purpose. Now you can select your distribution and then go ahead and buy suitable hardware and set up the hardware and get your work done. Apart from these criteria, there is a third criteria that uh, you need to keep in mind is that uh, the Linux distribution that you are selecting for your work, does it provides a LTS support? So what exactly is a LTS support? LTS stands for long term support. So this is a concept commonly available in software releases that when a particular version of the software is released, like here, I'm showing you the download page for Ubuntu. And here there is a Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS release. So LTS primarily stands for long term support. So here what uh, uh, Ubuntu is saying here that this version is going to be supported for uh, five years, there will be a free security and maintenance update support available extended up to 12 years with pro subscription and all. So basically the idea is when this particular version is released, which is uh, somewhere in January, February, March, April, April 2024, when it was released here, this particular version will have support for next five years and I will have support till 2029. Okay, so what's the advantage of this that today if I'm going to set up my Linux system for some purpose, 
as a server or something or i'm going to do some development i don't want to update my operating system every now and then update is change the operating system so sometimes when there are different releases or different versions are releases some support for some software is stopped or something or the other happens so for at least my work that is going to take place for another 3 or 4 years i want a system where i am going to have stable support for next 8 years if you are more interested in the commercial aspects and all you can go in for the pro version and you can get a support for another 12 years the long term period is going to be different for different cases like another example i can give is like there is a software called as blender 3d and uh, like if you plan to work on blender for developing some kind of animation or modeling or something so blender also has these lts releases like you can see blender software provides this lts series and uh, this will be supported for another 2 or 3 years 3 years i think you can check it out but the point is like today if i want to uh, start with some kind of tool or something i would want that the base software which i am using should be available with me with the updates or bug fixes or anything for next 3 years it should not happen that if i change my version from 4.2 lts series to something else or if i'm using 4.1 which is not lts and i change to another one there are some changes in the interface or something and i have to start reworking on my project that should not happen so lts basically gives me a functionality or a promise that for next 5 years or next said n number of years i am going to have support for that software and my project can run smoothly and in between i can think like one year earlier or something or before the uh, product support is going to stop i can uh, think about the transition to the newer version i will have enough of time so suddenly it won't happen that the support for that software is stopped so uh, the third aspect very important aspect is selecting the lts version of your uh, linux system which can be really helpful in actual work life or even day to day life you don't want to change your desktop or linux version every now and then then you can go in for lts based support fine so uh, those are the two three different criteria when you are looking for a particular linux distribution that uh, should you go in for the latest versions or should you go in for the lts releases so that's the basic idea about the criterias for choosing a correct linux distribution